Another great example of a lab here. And you know, you keep mentioning the Wisconsin plumbing code book. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that really, at the end of five years, that's what the test is on to learn? I mean, that's gotta be an intense test because here's the plumbing code book and look mm -hmm. at all this stuff here. I mean, that's a lot. It's not just so much the content, it's how to read it. The code book is divided up into a number of different sections, right? So we're gonna have sections just on definitions. We're gonna have sections on sanitary drains, vents. A lot of it is minimums and maximums that we want them to learn and understand. How to size piping based off of load value on a fixture versus a branch versus an entire drain itself. Do most of the apprentices, when they show up day one, are they intimidated by this? Because I certainly am after looking well, we, at it. Well, we don't go through it as a whole. It's broken up into the 20 lessons that they have okay. during day school. So breaking it up into five lessons each semester is more of a handle. And then they don't just stop there. The next semester we learn the next five lessons plus we review. So they're constantly going through it. By the time they get done with their apprenticeship, they've already gone through that multiple times. It, it just becomes more second nature.